hello and welcome back we are this is the intermediate lesson for um, the visit of the angels to the shepherds and the visit of the kings to um, to Mary now in the beginners lesson I just covered how you might do the um, the shepherds and I also introduced you to this guy here that I really quite like because he was a warrior so I found another picture of some shepherds here and I put him in and I put the glory of the Lord and circled the Bible verse. We're also going to use this Bible to put this tip in, in which is here over the top. This is the one that I've been mainly working in. It's the Hannah Dunnett Bible, the NIV, um, with the stuff from previous weeks. But remember that last week, I had last time, sorry, last study, I had to work in this one because um, the verse I did that one this the verse <coughs> was supposed to be here and they just uh, no it was supposed to be here and there was just no room so this is where tippings like this can come in useful so there are lots of ways you can make tippings I'm just going to pop that out of the way for the minute <coughs> you can print them onto vellum like this which is what I've done for you you can make them out of um, deli paper you can make them out of thin paper it's completely up to you now I've done a few experiments on your behalf uh, normally I paint on the rear so the back of the vellum if I'm going to paint or color and put any details on the top so this is what three different colors of blue in three different mediums looks like on that side and then you see when I turn it over it's slightly brighter on this side so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my silver pen now this is a cheap silver pen from Aldi I just picked it up it was in a little kit that looked like this and it's got washi tape and it's got a pen it's got two pens actually a gold and a silver which I thought would be ideal I'm just going to show you that with this pen you can actually draw over all three so this is this is a um, felt tip this is a uh, pencil crayon or colored pencils, whatever you want to call them. And this one is paint. So you can actually color over quite well if you want to. And then if I tip it, turn it over, and I can actually do the same over here, but you get such a much more smoother and you get much more bold of the gold or silver. It's up to you how you do it. So you can paint. So I've started the, the wise man. You can paint on the other side what I would call the wrong side, the reverse, and then put your detail on the top, which is what I'm going to do with that one. And that's been done with paint. And uh, <clears throat> you can colour on this side. Um, it's completely up to you. So I'm going to use my um, artist loft, um, my daughter's artist loft watercolours, as I've done when I did the Mary. Um, since doing that, I've discovered that Holy Hope have got them in her shop, in their shop, which is really good. And remember, because they're cheap watercolours, they dry up really quickly. So just spray it away from your work and let it sit. These have already been sprayed because I've started, already started the, sh the shepherd, the, the, the Magi. So I'm going to do it on this side. It's completely up to you which side you do. Um, you can always experiment with a bit of the spare, what a bit of the spare vellum you've got in your kit. So shepherds. So I've done the kings quite bright because they would have had um, really, really bright clothing. But I'm gonna with the shepherds. I'm gonna keep them down to kind of quite earthly colours, earthy colours even. Still quite bright though. I don't want to go dull and boring. Cause it's gonna be in my bible after all. So in this study, I put both both visitors together. But we know that unlike the nativity, and as I've explained in the study. The kings didn't come, or rather, the, they're more likely to be of wise men, and didn't come on the same night. Jesus was, they came to a house, and Jesus, um, by all accounts, was probably two, nearly two by that point, because um, it says in the scripture that he, um, that the King Herod ordered all the under twos dead. So he could have been up to two years old. We don't know specifically because it didn't say. It doesn't say in the scripture. 
Um, but he definitely was not a baby in a manger. Um, so I remember um, sitting at church when a training minister and in the um, in the Church of England, they're called curates, um, was training and she did a um, talk about the um, wise men not being wise. There's no donkeys in the Bible. Um, a little bit like that is it's from that particular one talk that I heard that I got the inspiration to put together this Advent um, devotional really. And for me it was I was quite angry and upset that oh, how dare she upset change Christmas what I thought Christmas but actually it's what the Bible says. So all I'm doing is I'm working on different colours. That's more of a skin tone. Um, because these are my daughters, they're quite grubby, as I've said before. They were mine, but I gave them her to have, and I borrowed them back for this. Um, they're really, really pigmented for, for cheap for cheap watercolours. They're really pigmented. They're a little bit chalky, but that's because they're cheaper ones. But for this, they're perfectly fine. They're absolutely fine. I've got a, quite a small brush in it. I don't know what brush this is. This is a Royal Aqualon number four brush, but I think it's from the range, but I'm not sure. I always, I don't spend a huge amount of brushes and you only need a couple of brushes and my water's off, off, um, off camera. But what you shouldn't do is what I've done there is leave your brushes in the water, particularly if like this one, it's a wooden brush because it'll wreck your brushes. Um, so I'm going to get that kind of a khaki colour. Dress there. So as I said, I'm trying to keep the, she the shepherds in neutral colours. Now you can, with a fine detail, use a different media if you want. Now what I'm going to do with the angel wings is I'm going to, um, hopefully, I'm just going to clean that brush off on there. I'm going to hopefully with the angel wings um, colour them with a gold pen. But I am going to, this is going to seem really odd, paint the angel's robes in in white. So I might just have to put it on there here so I can see what I'm doing. Because with the white, because it will show up, will show on your paper. You could put a tiny bit of light blue in so it showed up even more if you wanted. This one's got a pink tinge to it anyway, I think because it's been slightly contaminated by my daughter. And um, I think my angel's gonna have dark hair. We really don't know what the angel would look like. It could have just look like a human being. Oh, here we are. Oh, I've got brown on my brush, I'm going to do this belt. And the crook. Now, if you are not happy with the paintbrush, Colour it with um, pens, it's fine. And I'm going to leave that one for a minute and put it to one side while it dries. I'm working on this one now. So I'm going to put this the right way around. I haven't coloured that headband in, but I'll do that with markers. I'm going to get my pens. Now, when I designed these, I deliberately left them. Um, Plain, so you could could play with them and do stuff with them. Um, just like this, I'll just do this. So with the crayons, I'm just the pencil crayons. I'm just going to add a few details. So I'm going to use the salmon for the face. A bit bright for skin, really, but it's not a try the peach. Oh, peach is a little bit better.
gone for very simple drawings of um, the Magi. Just adding a little bit of brown to take the peachiness off the peach. These Crayola crayons are, are really quite a good value for money because you do get a um, good variety of colours. There we are. And then I'm going to cover the colour the gifts in, so I, I would assume the gifts would be in really, really bright coloured, expensive looking containers. So I've got that one, and I'm going to go for an orange, a horin, an orange even. For this one and I'm just on a really solid colour and then let's go for this pinky colour for this one so as we turn it over you can see you can also see the bits you missed as you've been colouring and then on this side I'm going to put kind of put some um, finery so I'm going to have a gold top on there and then I think I'm going to go with stripes on this one so I've got kind of a, a gold pattern on that one my silver and I'm going to just this one I think we're just going to have a pattern around the edge of its ropes like zigzag around the edge of there this one I think we're going to have some now that gold's not showing up very well on, on that particular colour so all I'm going to do and go over with some silver. So got some big dots and some little dots. Just to make it interesting. And then I think I'm just going to get a little bit of grey because these wise men look like they're actually floating at the minute and they're not need to be grounded. I deliberately didn't put any feet in. I wanted them to be slightly contemporary and give you a little bit of leeway of how you did it, how you coloured them in rather. So that's my wise men done. I think I might go for a little bit of um, silver on there and maybe it's a bit of gold on the top of this. So that's our wise men. Back to our angels, and I said I'm going to have gold wings. I'm going to use my gold pen. Um, you can use gel pen. Uh, it doesn't show up as well as these um, gold mark pens. I, I experimented with some gel pen earlier. That seems to work okay. Filling in the little bits of detail with a pencil crayon. So the leg colour, little hands there, part of the face there. I'm just going to grab a different colour for this because it's quite small to paint with a, a paintbrush, that bit is. sheep's fur 
I go around in little circles on this body and then just shading the rest of it in. Like so. Again, I'm going to ground them with a little bit of ground. I'm going to use a green for that because the chances are they would have been on a kind of a hillside. Not green as we'd know it, but it would have been quite dark as well. And then on this side, because we want it to show, um, let me just grab my grey here. And on this side, because it will show more, I think we need to kind of just bring the glory and the shining of the angel out like so. So I've done both pieces now. I'm going to just pop these all out of the way. Pop all my stuff out of the way. So We've got some washi tape, but you've got enough in your kit to put a couple of pe uh, couple of sheets in. So you've got a choice. You can attach it there. Obviously, that's not the right place on. You can attach it there, so it opens that way, or you can attach it on the edge to open that way. If you attach it on the edge there, you're going to have to fold it over to your previous page. So I'm going to actually put mine this time in there. Now, these are all Christmas washes. But I quite like this star one. Oops. So all I'm going to do is find the end. Now if you've got one of the smaller Bibles, I've left enough space at the top and the bottom of these vellum sheets for you to trim it up and then colour it. So if you notice, there's quite a big border at the top and bottom. So that you guys that have got the smaller Bibles are not going to be disadvantaged. So there's my tip in. Um, not quite got that one straight, but the beauty of washi tape is that you can have another go. And it won't matter. Try that. That's it. So I can still read the words if you if it's your reading Bible, and I've got that tip in there. And then we're just going to look at the um, visitors one it's yes. mark 2 uh, matthew 2 rather matthew 2 1 to 23 what it says there and i've got a little bit of a lip on this so i'm just going to trim it up it's only because i put it with scissors as opposed to with a craft knife so put that one in there like that but equally if you wanted to put it in here like so you could do that as well that is up to you I'm gonna pop it I think in that way now because it's all about gifts and um, oops Christmas gifts I'm going to use this uh, Christmassy washi tape that's got uh, candy canes and Christmassy things on because I can. Oh, that was my watch telling me to get up and walk around. So I'm going to get it right into the crease again. And that will flatten out with time. Now, mine looks like it just needs a little bit of trimming. Yours have all been trimmed to size because I put them on the trimmer. These were done by hand earlier. There we are. So we've got that one. And we've got... That one. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs>